Hi friends, what's up? This is RK from 360 Reader. Right now, I'm going to show how to stop Apple from scanning your iPhone and iPad photos. Starting with iOS 15 and iPad OS 15, Apple is going to apply a new child protection policy when it comes to scanning photos that you upload to iCloud. It's worth noting that this policy will help Apple report illegal child pornography images to the authorities and on the surface it sounds like a good thing that Apple is doing but there is a lot of controversy and confusion around how they are doing it so let's talk about how it works and more importantly what you can do if you want to stop Apple from scanning your iPhone and iPad photos. Before getting started, make sure you have subscribed our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any update from 360 Reader. First off, let's talk about how Apple's all-new photo scanning feature works on iPhone and iPad. Part of the confusion comes from the fact that Apple announced two child safety features together but they work in completely different ways. First is the child pornography scanning feature for iCloud photos. Here, Apple scans the photos for digital fingerprints of child pornography and matches it against child sexual abuse material database for illegal images. Do know that CSAM is maintained by the Center for Missing and Exploited Children, a quasi-governmental entity in the U.S. The second feature is machine learning based often feature limited to the messages app on iPhone and iPad. This is used to alert children or their parents about pornographic images in the messages app. The controversy is surrounded by the first iCloud photo scanning feature which is enabled by default for all iCloud photos users. When your iPhone uploads a photo to iCloud photos, if you have the iCloud photos feature enabled, there is a multi-part algorithm Algorithm that does some analysis of the photo on your device and sends it up the iCloud. Then iCloud does the other part of the analysis. If you meet a threshold of 30 known child pornography images, Apple flags your account. Then Apple's manual review process kicks in and Apple knows about the flagged images, not the rest of the images. Then Apple sends the photos to the CSAM program and the authorities take over from there. Apple says that the program only runs against the known child pornography database from CSAM and doesn't flag regular pornography nude photos or for example photos of your child in a bathtub and Apple's process here is secure. According to Apple, there is no real scanning of photos going on here. Essentially, Apple assigns your photo a neural hash, a string of numbers identifying your photo, then compares that against hashes from the SAM database. It then saves that process in what Apple calls a safety voucher along with the image. Then it does some more analysis and matching based on these hashes. If 30 safety vouchers have matches for SAM images, only then is your account flagged by the system for human reviewers to go in to actually see if there are illegal images and the images and account are reported. With that said, now let's learn how to disable Apple photo scanning on iPhone and iPad. Now that you know how the system works, you can choose if you want to stop Apple from doing it. This scanning only happens when photos are uploaded to iCloud. Photos that are sent in messaging apps like WhatsApp or Telegram aren't scanned by Apple. Still, if you don't want Apple to do this scanning at all, your only option is to disable iCloud Photos. To do that, open the Settings app on your iPhone or iPad. After that, select Photos section and then disable the toggle right next to iCloud feature. From the pop-up, choose the Download Photos and Videos option to download the photos from your iCloud photo library. You can also use the iCloud website to download all photos to your computer. Your iPhone will now stop uploading new photos to iCloud and Apple won't scan any of your photos now. 
If you're looking for an alternative, I would like to point out that all major cloud backup providers have the same scanning feature, it's just that they do it completely in the cloud while Apple uses a mix of on-device and cloud scanning. If you don't want this kind of photo scanning, use local backups, NAS or a backup service that is completely end-to-end -end encrypted. That's pretty much it. So that's the way you can disable Apple photo scanning on your iOS or iPad OS device. If you have found this video helpful, make sure to like and share it and I'll see you in the next video with more such handy iPhone and iPad hacks. Till then, stay safe and have a great time. Bye-bye.